Ever dreamed of starting a YouTube channel but held back? Maybe the tech seems overwhelming or you're worried no one will watch. As an artist, you might wonder how to fit it into your already busy schedule. Well, this video is for you. I'm here to show you why it's worth it, even if it feels like you're creating in a void at first. I've talked to many artists who felt the same way and I've learned a lot along my YouTube journey. So today, I'm going to break it all down for you. When when I first started my YouTube journey, my daughter was just six months old. I was knee deep in diapers and sleep deprivation, trying to balance motherhood, art, and everything else. Starting my YouTube journey felt like a calling, but it wasn't easy. I made a lot of mistakes. I struggled with consistency, and because of that, it took me two years to finally get monetized. For those who don't know, to become a YouTube partner, you need 4,000 watch hours within a year, along with 1,000 subscribers subscribers, but because I didn't have a consistent posting schedule at first, I was losing watch hours as time passed, so this is why it took me longer to get monetized. But even with less than 500 subscribers, many of you supported me, confirming I was making a difference, so thank you. YouTube is a beast, and it changed me. It challenged me in so many ways. I've shared very vulnerable and personal stories about my life, and I'm actually a very reserved and private person. But there's something about YouTube that will change your life. In my case, it made me more confident and helped me be in alignment with who I'm meant to be as a person and as an artist. Through my channel, I found my voice, my purpose, and a platform to uplift others. YouTube isn't just about making videos. It's about discovering your potential, sharing your unique gifts, and inspiring others to do the same. So when you start your YouTube journey, remember, you're not just creating content, you're also creating change in yourself and in the world around you. So be very clear about your goals. Make content about things you're passionate about. Just because you're an artist doesn't mean you have to create an art channel with tutorials or time-lapse videos, unless that's what you truly wanna do. But if you're also passionate about let's say spirituality, wellness, fitness, or nature, things that influence your art and who you are as an artist, don't be afraid to share that with your audience. You should really do YouTube because you're passionate about the content you're making, not because you wanna make money. Yes, making money on YouTube is a perk, especially for artists, but it's going to be very hard to sustain your channel if your heart is not in it. So understand your own purpose and know why you want to start and grow a YouTube channel because that's what's going to keep you motivated. I've personally made tons of videos that I thought were fantastic. I put hours into them. I poured my heart and soul into some of these videos thinking that it was the one and the video would flop. But I knew I would keep creating YouTube videos even if it took me 10 plus years to get monetized. Sometimes it felt like I was posting in a void and no one was watching, but I still enjoyed the process and I took that opportunity to get better and better. I'm still not where I want to be, but I'm grateful for the experience and for the people I've met through YouTube. I've built meaningful connections that extend beyond the platform. Some viewers have reached out on Instagram and TikTok, I've even formed friendships where we've exchanged numbers and talked for hours on the phone. When you share your art and your journey as an artist, it's incredible how it can bring like-minded people into your life. As artists, having a community is very important and YouTube allows you to connect with people who truly resonate with you and your message. The beauty of long form content is that it allows others to see the real you, to understand your journey and your art on a deeper level. As someone who's felt misunderstood her entire life, finding a community on YouTube has been priceless. Through this platform, I found my tribe, people who resonate with my art, my vision, and who I am on a soul level. Okay, now let's address some common concerns I've heard from fellow artists. When it comes to equipment, keep it simple. You don't need fancy gear to begin. I started with just my phone. If you're going to invest in anything first, make it audio. 
because good sound quality can elevate even phone recorded videos. For lighting, I use natural light when possible, but sometimes I use a ring light depending on the weather conditions. Be yourself on camera and practice talking to the camera. Make it a goal to improve while no one is watching. It's awkward at first, but it gets better. So speak your mind and share your unique perspective as an artist because that's going to be your superpower. Share your journey, your process, your thoughts. Think of it as a documentary because that's how you're going to attract your tribe. For content planning, start by writing down 52 ideas. Yes, 52 ideas that excite you. Remember, your channel doesn't have to be just art tutorials. To stay organized, develop a content calendar. Schedule what you're going to post and when. This helps you to plan in advance, which is a lifesaver when life gets busy. I've learned that the algorithm loves consistency. It loves consistency in the type of content you post and the frequency. When I started out, I was only able to post once a month. Then I started posting bi-weekly and my channel started gaining some traction. But once I started posting weekly, I've noticed that's when my channel started picking up speed. I had to pivot and make the editing process a lot easier on myself. That way I can post weekly and still make quality videos. But it's better to post great content less frequently than to burn out trying to post every day. I also script write all my videos because it helps me stay focused and avoid rambling. I capture ideas using Apple Notes or voice memos whenever inspiration strikes. Then I keep all my scripts and ideas organized in Notion. This process helps me stay prepared and make the most of my time and ideas. Okay, I know we've covered a lot already and you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed. That's why I've created a YouTube starter guide along with the companion workbook. This guide covers everything we've discussed and more from equipment recommendations to content planning strategies, keyword research, and exercises to help you find your unique voice. Many artists have reached out to me asking for tips on starting their own YouTube channel. Some of you were inspired watching me paint with my daughter on my back while managing to make YouTube videos. So I decided to write down everything that I've learned so far in this guide. The strategies I share are for building a sustainable channel to avoid burnout and connect with your audience. It's designed to guide you step-by-step -step through starting and growing your YouTube channel making the process less intimidating. It's currently on sale for a limited time and you can find the link to purchase the guide and workbook bundle in the description below. When it comes to growing your YouTube channel, pay attention to your analytics. When I finally sat down to look at the numbers, it helped me refine my messaging and improve my titles and thumbnails. A quick tip, create three different thumbnail and title ideas for each video. This way you can test what resonates best with your audience. Remember, it's about connecting with people who truly resonate with your art and your message. It's a rewarding feeling when viewers reach out saying, your videos have been helping me so much. Thank you for being here. These moments remind you of the impact you're making, even if your subscriber count isn't skyrocketing. So don't fall into the trap of comparing yourself with other channels and their numbers. Keep your focus on your unique voice and the people you're meant to serve. Treat YouTube as part of your craft and your business. Focus on making better quality videos, improving your communication, refining your messaging, and building your personal brand, even if it feels like no one is watching. Because the truth is, someone is watching. And to that one person, your video might be exactly what they needed to see today. That connection, that impact, that's the real success on YouTube. Because your art is a gift to the world. And starting a YouTube channel 
is a powerful way to share that gift and connect with others who appreciate it. Like I mentioned before, YouTube is a beast, but it's worth it. If you're new here and made it this far, welcome. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Leave a comment below and let us know what's holding you back from starting your YouTube channel. And if you're ready to take your YouTube journey seriously, check out the YouTube starter guide I mentioned earlier. The link is in the description and it's on sale for a limited time. And for those of you looking to go even deeper, I offer one-on-one -on -one consultation sessions to help you lay the foundation for your art business or your YouTube channel. I do an audit of your YouTube channel, your website, and your online presence and give you tailored advice for your unique situation. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video inspired you to start your YouTube channel. So keep creating and never stop believing in yourself. I'll see you in the next video.